I'm Simon Paul. I'm part of the team that developed a technology that improves the capacity and reliability of the internet. My name is Steve Friskin. I was the person that brought some of the concepts into the team about how the optics could be configured. My name's Andrew Bartos. I'm an electrical engineer and my main contribution was on the electrical and electronic side of the technology. My name is Glenn Baxter and my role was to make the products work. We got together in 2001. The problem was that optical fibres were used just for connecting one point to another point. There was no ability to switch the signals around in the network. There are a large number of companies working on solving this problem. Billions of dollars were being spent. We just looked for a different idea, a gap that no one else had thought about. We were contrarian, in a way. The initial inspiration came from the realisation that Steve had that we could take some technology that had been developed for projectors. This technology was great for projecting images up onto a screen, and I thought I could see a way that we could use it to project different colours of light into different fibres. Today we're switching over 100 colours of light and we're switching them into up to 20 different fibres. So there's two main components to our device. One is a glass prism that is able to divide the light into many different colours and the other is a liquid crystal on silicon chip which is able to steer the light into different optical fibres. So our devices are everywhere in the world. New York or London, the mountaintops of Kenya, the, the jungles of Peru, the deserts of Saudi Arabia, they're there. To win the Prime Minister's Prize for Innovation is a tremendous vindication of our decision back in 2001 to address one of the really important problems of the developing internet.